What's going on guys? I am freaking out because it's cold outside. That's why I'm sitting in my truck right now rather than standing outside. But uh, I, 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 I just realized that I haven't done an edit on the Bronco yet. I don't know why. I, don't, I mean, I kind of did at the beginning, but it was kind of it wasn't very it wasn't very much of an edit. It was just like a talk about walk around Bronco. So uh, I figured I should do an edit on the Bronco. Why do an edit on the Chevy that doesn't really mean anything before the Bronco? So I'm sorry about that. Uh, I know there's a lot of you that are probably following me for Bronco content due to my page. If you're not following me, I am listed at at early bronco drivers early bronco underscore drivers i'll put in the i'll put it right here <laughs> follow me on that page on instagram uh, i do have a facebook page i don't think that's i don't really use that very much though so i just follow me on instagram anyways you don't really realize how big <laughs> you don't realize how big a truck is until you've been in one for a while I have a lot of headroom in here, you know, I got, well, not a whole lot, but I have a, I have headroom in here. I sit in her car, the Camry, and my head's like pinned up against the ceiling. I couldn't even hardly fit in there. It was pretty funny, actually. Anyways, let's get to uh, doing the edit on the Bronco before it gets too dark out. The dark might do it justice on the Bronco today. Jeez, I think it's about 20 some odd degrees outside, so it is cold today. Um, all right, let's get to doing the edit on the Bronco. Anyways, for those of you watching, please subscribe so I can get started on this build as soon as possible. I mean, I'm not 100% relying on you guys, but it would help out <laughs> if, if something like that could happen. So subscribe. Maybe a thousand subscribers will do something really good to the Bronco. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what yet, but I promise you we'll do something. That's a long ways away, so <laughs> get me there. Anyways, we're getting ready to leave this place. We're getting ready to move into, uh, my girlfriend and I are getting ready to move into our own apartment, so that's good. It's, I've been having a lot of uh, stress lately about it because it's not necessarily what we want to do yet or if we're ready for it yet. I know we can handle it, but it's just kind of, it's been completely, uh, it's been really rough because we don't really have the means for it yet, so I don't know. Wish us luck. Anyways, I'm going to go inside, probably going to eat, I'm going to change because I just got off work and I'm pretty, if you can't tell, I'm pretty, uh, pretty nasty. So I'm going to change, take a shower, probably eat something. I'll be right back to you guys. Feeling so much fresher now. I was getting out of the shower and I noticed that the underneath my arm was like really raw and I'm thinking it's because I got this new deodorant, so I might just not be used to it but feeling feeling so much better already besides that <laughs> to get that work stink off you so there's not a whole lot going on tonight uh, I just have I figured I could just do a little cleaning video on my gun it is a Springfield Armory 1911 45 caliber this gun was handed down to me by my dad we've had it for quite some time now um, <clears throat> Springfield Armory it has nothing but Wilson combat guts inside of it. it has a solid guide rod makes the gun shoot straighter it is a pretty heavy gun probably not the best for concealing but I have concealed it I do have a concealed weapon uh, holster for it it sits kind of on my side back here and uh, you know I have to say it is pretty comfy but 
legally in the state of Idaho, you have to be 21 to conceal. So I did go out and get an open carry, but I'm not a big fan of open carrying. I don't want to seem like a, I don't know. I, 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 I do like open carry, but I don't like coming off as like someone who seems like they want to be a hot shot, you know what I'm saying, to other people around them. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and tear this gun down because we did go out and shoot it the other day. Fair I could do a little gun tear down. Go ahead and clean it. No, I'm sorry because I'm not a professional in tearing this thing down yet. I've uh, only done it a few times, so I do know how to shoot it really good. We've been out and shot it a lot, but yep. All right, I guess I'll bring you along with me. All right, the first thing you want to do is release the mag out of the bottom of the gun. So, so we want to make sure we're good and safe. We'll go ahead and check the chamber in the gun. Seem pretty good there. All right, so I don't know if you guys already know this or not. <laughs> Most of you probably already do. Don't look directly at the end of this because the pieces that sit inside, see this piece goes right on the end of this, pushes back up inside the up inside the gun, and then this and this locks in. I'm sorry, I don't know the names of these. I'm, I'm sound I'm sounding really I'm unprofessional about this, but. <laughs> This locks in, basically holds together the whole gun. And this, <laughs> as you just saw, shot across the kitchen and landed on the floor over there. So if it would hit you in the eye, that would cause some real damage. Thankfully my uh, my old man taught me that, so I wasn't I wasn't even about to look down at the end of that at the end of the barrel, so this piece should come right out the side here. The slide block should be able to pop right out the side. All right, guys. We have the gun fully disassembled. Um, well, not fully disassembled, but as fully assembled as I want it. Disassembled as I want to get it. Of course, you still got the grips, trigger, and stuff like that. We're not going to get into that into this video. Anyways, uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and clean it up. You can go ahead and see how it's all black right there. Let me get the screen back on. See how it's all black right there. That's from shooting it. So we're going to go ahead and get her all cleaned up. Oh yeah, and I do highly recommend. Two things, always keeping a gun rag with you, one that you're not afraid to get dirty. You can tell I've used this one. You can tell I've used this one a couple times. It's kind of black in places. It's really black over there. <laughs> and uh, getting a boar snake. Boar snakes are a huge deal. I use the Lucas gun oil. This stuff is extremely nice. I've always, I've always really liked it. So if you're gonna go ahead and clean your gun I recommend Lucas gun oil of course ram oil works really good too but so far I've, I've really liked Lucas alright let's get to cleaning it of course the first part I'm gonna go ahead and clean my gun is going to be where the slide sits on it at I'm gonna wipe it down with the rag first get all this black wiped out of it so you can already tell it's a huge difference I like to get the trigger cleaned out. The trigger had black stuff all over it. Here where the slide sits on there at. Now I think the most important part, obviously not the most important part, you still got the barrel and everything like that. But I do think the most important one of the most important parts is to clean out where your bullet ejects into the chamber because you don't want that jamming up if you get into a bad or hairy situation the last thing you want you do is, you want your gun to do is to jam up so make sure that this is really free of uh, any contaminants you know dirt you can tell that she's a lot cleaner now going on the inside so where I like to oil is usually usually right along where the slide sits racks at where it slides back and forth at on there the slide rails, I guess, is what you'd call them. Or what, it, what I think you'd call them. Go ahead and put it. This is another reason I really like this look so well, by the way. You have uh, the fine tip. You can you can really get into small places with, especially on your gun. Put a few dabs in there. Go ahead and rub her down a little bit. 
This rag has got quite a bit of uh, gun oil on it too from the past times I've used it, so that really helps a lot. I'll go ahead and flip to the other side and do the other side. This gun is still really oil free from the last time I used it. I'm going to give it a fine little wipe. I'll go ahead and oil it up some right here. Oil up the firing pin. Safety. Mag release. Grip safety. So basically what you want to do here is you just want to oil up any of the parts that are moving on your gun. Uh, keeps the wear and tear off of them, makes them so they're able to move freely, makes the gun safer, more secure. Let's it fire when you expect it to fire. Keeps everything loose. I like to move things around once I get done greasing the gun. Move everything around, mess the safety a little bit. Work that gun oil down inside there. Up next we're gonna go ahead and give the barrel a good wipe down. A lot of this stuff doesn't come off here. That's pretty. That's just oxidation over the years. It's not. That's not bad. You can see that rifling. We'll go ahead and run the bore snake through and see if that helps. Oh yeah, that's a huge difference. You can even tell on camera. Yeah, that's so much better. I'll go ahead and uh, throw some oil in that bore snake now and run it through one more time. But oh yeah, that's a lot better. I like to give it a little, uh, a little bit of a twist so it goes through the grooves of the rifling. Just to get whatever's left inside there. Oh yeah, that's so much better. We'll move on to the slide. And the slide rail is done. That's not too hard, there's not too many parts in there. As, again, I just like to oil everything and then give it a light wipe down after I get done oiling it so it's not too excessive. Next, let's go on to all the little bits and pieces here. Alright, now back to reassembling the whole thing. Assembled. A lot smoother than it was before. And she's ready for go time. Thank you all for tonight. If you did like the video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Alright, thank you.